Hello everyone, this is Dr. Garama Sachdeva, one of the mentors of study MRCOG and today's wisdom short is on endometrial hyperplasia. I'll be basically discussing the management algorithm for endometrial hyperplasia. Okay, so starting with the definition, endometrial hyperplasia, it is defined as irregular proliferation of the glands with gland to stoma, stoma ratio more than 1 is to 1 when compared to proliferative endometrium. So there are two types of hyperplasia. One is simple, the other one is atypical. Sim in simple hyperplasia, it's basically a pre-malignant con condition. So for simple hyperplasia, risk of cancer is one uh, is around 5% and for atypical hyperplasia, it is around 27%. And in case you do hysterectomy for patients with atypical hyperplasia, you will see concomitant cancer in 43% cases. So now coming over to the management protocol. For simple hypoplasia, you can either give an option of observation or treatment with progesterone. And for progesterone treatment, uh, Mirena or LNGIUS is preferred over oral progesterone treatment. Regression rates associated with progression uh, for, with observation alone is 74.2 to 81% and with progesterone treatment it is 89 to 96%. And for how long do you have to give progesterones in case you are going for it? Oral progesterone they have to be given for a maximum duration of 6 months and Mirena it can be retained up to 5 years. And how do you once you are observing or giving them progesterone how do you follow up? Uh, these patients you do monthly endometrial biopsies and you till when do you do it until there are two negative biopsies so now coming over to this was about simple hyperplasia now coming over to atypical hyperplasia so the main management for atypical hyperplasia because of high risk of carcinoma it is uh, total hysterectomy and the laparoscopic route is preferred over open uh, hysterectomy. In case it's a premenopausal uh, female, you, uh, you conserve the ovary. So you do a total abdominal hysterectomy with bilateral salpingectomy. And for postmenopausal females, you do total abdominal hysterectomy with bilateral salpingoferectomy. And uh, simple hypoplasia, I told either you can do observation or progesterone treatment and then follow them up with endometrial biopsies. However, what are the conditions? Hysterectomy is never a first line treatment for simple hypoplasia. You do it only in certain conditions. One, if during your follow up patient turns into atypical hypoplasia, if there is no histological regression of hypoplasia despite 12 months of treatment, if there is a relapse of endometrial hypoplasia after uh, completing full progesterone treatment, again when you do the biopsy you see a relapse, if there are persistence of bleeding symptoms, if the woman declines to undergo surveillance or biopsy or uh, comply with the medical management and she wants to go for hysterectomy only. And if it's a postmenopausal female, you uh, do bilateral salpingoferectomy also. However, in premenopausal females, in order to prevent these postmenopausal symptoms, you we preserve the ovaries and do bilateral salpingectomy. And uh, laparoscopic route is always preferred. Now, atypical hypoplasia, I told you that the main management is you go for hysterectomy. However, if the patient has not completed her family and uh, desires to continue with fertility preservation and doesn't want removal of the uterus, then what do you do? One thing is we rule out whether there is any invasive endometrial cancer or coexisting because I told you that there is very high risk of coexisting in cancers as well and also there is a risk of coexisting ovarian cancer as well because of the high estrogen levels. So you rule out uh, these by doing a CA125 TBS with or without MRI based on the requirement. After that, you give them an option of LNG IUS or progesterone. LNG IUS or Mirena is preferred over progesterone treatment. And then you, follow, uh, you put them on surveillance. Every three months, you have to do the biopsies. And then at least you see regression on one sample. You can go for assisted reproductive technology. Okay. And once the fertility is no long, longer desired, you go for hysterectomy. Because uh, there are chances that it might relapse. So once she has completed family, everything, final treatment is hysterectomy. And if the patient is not willing for hysterectomy, how will you follow them? You follow them by doing endometrial biopsy every three months until two negative biopsies. And also they are followed by this. They also require a long term follow up there because there is a risk of relapse. So you have to do it every six to 12 monthly until hysterectomy is done. 
So initially do, you do it, uh, the surveillance every three months until two negative biopsies and later once you achieve two negative biopsies, you do it every six to 12 months until final hysterectomy is done. So this was all about the management algorithm of endometrial hypoplasia. I hope I have made things very clear. In case of any doubt, you can come back to me. Thank you so much.